Coming to you from a studio located somewhere in Atlanta, Georgia. It's time for Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. It's all good. Let's go. Shout out to Rufus. Get your praise on, get your praise on, everybody give a soul clap, get your praise on, get your praise on. And here's your host, the funny man with lots of voices, Willie Brown. Hey, what's up, family? It's your boy, Willie Brown, coming back to you again from Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live, and you can tell that I'm excited. That's right, I'm excited because we've been getting letters and calls about our television show. People are watching Gospel Comedy Live all over the world. So we want you to continue to support what we're doing, this ministry to bring clean and wholesome family comedy to you and your family. That's right, and you can do it by simply booking some of our comedians for your events. That's right, bring our comedians to your church to your leadership conference, to your gospel festival. You can book our tour, or you can purchase some of our merchandise. We got a brand new t-shirt, Gospel Comedy Live, all right? Comes in all different sizes. Make sure you get one of these, okay? Also, you can get our new DVD. Oh yeah, that's right, we have a DVD for every episode that we've shot. And this DVD will show our show in its entirety. That's right. You only are able to watch a certain amount on television because we're due, due to time restrictions. But on our DVD, you can watch the whole entire show, even portions that were cut out. So make sure you go to the site, get a t-shirt, get a DVD, order some other memorabilia, you know, support our ministry. Or you can just simply click on the donation button. Go to cleancomedyclinic.com and press donate okay that's right we can't stay on the air unless you help us or you can send us a letter or donation to p.o box 998 mcdonough georgia 30253 that's right that's the clean comedy clinic p.o box 998 mcdonough georgia 30253 now let's get to the good part behind every good man there's a good woman and so what we've done, we've taken all the women who appeared on our show and we put them together for you on one episode. That's right. So we want you to sit back and enjoy the women of Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live. Gospel Comedy Live! How you doing, Auntie? You know, I don't start no one, be none. You, you know, you, if you was not my nephew, but you be my husband. Say what? Because you is one fine man. All the way on the top of your head. <laughs> he got a big head, y'all. <laughs> All the way down to the precious soles of your feet. Good God, I'm not. Look at them feet, y'all. Is they legal? Of course they're legal. Ooh, you know they say that a man got big feet. Know what? It don't take them long to walk to the ATM machine. Holocatha satrate and lasagna. Oh, rigatoni, ravioli, linguini, pepperoni, tifaroni, tortellini. I'll tell you what you've been up to. Well, you know I'm back on the dating scene. Already? You sound surprised. I am. I mean, I heard Unc just passed away not too long ago. Yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did. It was the absolute worst day of my life. I thought I'd never, ever get over it. <laughs> Oh well, life, life goes on. <laughs> Thank God for that insurance policy. You had coverage? Like a good neighbor, baby. <laughs> State Farm was there. Oh, they was there, David, they was there. Sounded like he was a good man. He was a wonderful man. He was a marvelous man. He was a, what a man, what a man, what a man, what a mighty good man. Yes, he is. They don't make them like that no more. Oh, no? No. These men nowadays, some of them don't care about you. They just go on and die and leave you by yourself. I like to date young men. Young men? Yeah, but I take an old man with benefits any day. Them young men is cute, but they ain't got nothing but big ideas. I need a man with major medical, dental. Vision, liposuction, and breast reduction. 
if I wasn't mistaken, Auntie, I think that you was a cougar. No, I'm a jaguar, David. <laughs> now, I've been single a long time, you know, and I'm divorced, you know, so, you know, I'm, I'm divorced twice, you know. Don't judge me. <laughs> you know, you tell people you divorced, you know they have mercy on you. You say two times, they looking at you like, oh, it's her fault. <laughs> Something wrong with her. You know, and I'm working on me, I'm working on me, but you don't know my story, so don't judge me, amen? You know, trust me, every biblical reason given for a divorce, trust me, I had it, amen? Amen, you know, the first one was a crackhead and the second one was trying to crack my head. And I, I don't think that's funny, personally. I, that's not the funny part, amen? <laughs> but, but the sad part is, you know, being single today, it's, it's really hard today. And it's, it's sad because, you know, we have more means of communicating now than we have ever had before. Yet men have become even more, even worse with your communicating. You are. With your communicating. See what I, see what I mean? They don't listen, don't hear nothing. Everybody heard that but him. And you know he's single. <laughs> no, nobody wants you. <laughs> you haven't learned to listen. <laughs> but a lot of times as single people, you know, ladies, we love, we, we love to pray for a man of God, but we forget to prepare. Because we got to have our stuff together too, amen? You do, because a lot of ladies, you know, a lot of times, you know, we, we want so desperately to be in a relationship, you know, but we're not preparing for that man. And ladies, before you go on these dates, you got to make sure that you fast and you pray before you go on these dates. You pray so you can hear from heaven and know whether or not he is from God. So you don't waste his time and he don't waste yours. You fast so that when you go on that date, you don't have gas. Now that's serious, that's serious. Cause there's nothing worse than being on a date with a wonderful man of God and your stomach is toe up. <laughs> and I know some of y'all so holy you don't think we should be talking about gas, but let me tell you something, we serve an awesome God. <laughs> Who knew, he knows all things, so he knew that in this day and age with our diet, we was gonna have gas. And I praise him for his word that says, I will always make a way for your escape. Because <laughs> I'm going to tell you, let me tell you something. You get on that date, you know, and I'm going to tell you, it's nothing worse than being on a date with a man of God and your stomach is, there's nothing you can do about it. Your stomach bubbling, you know, you got so much gas, you got a, you know, a lump at the top of your head. But now gas can be beneficial on a date. Say you get on this date and realize he is not from God. <laughs> you don't even care, do you? <laughs> you just let it go, don't you? <laughs> he be like, what's that smell? That's me. I got a little bit of gas, so I'm be letting it go from time to time. If you can't take it, you need to take me home. <laughs> ladies, make some noise, ladies. Yeah, 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 ladies. You know, you know we like to look good, right, ladies? You know, we, we got to look good, you know, even when it come down to our heels. Am I right, ladies? You know we like to wear some bad heels, right, ladies? And you know those heels will tear your feet up, won't they? You know, you walk around cute at the beginning of the day. You know, you walk around like this. Oh, hey, girl, all right, hey. And by the end of the day, you walk around like this. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. You know, we gotta read the Bible, ladies, because the Bible says, look to the hills from us cometh your help. We're not looking at the right hills, ladies. We're not looking at the right hills, eh? Yes. You know, we like to look good even when it come down to our eyebrows, you know? Some of us draw them on. And it's all right if you draw them on, it's all right. I, the makeup artist back there just do, she drew mine on right quick, you know? It's all right. But if you are going to draw them on, I'ma need you to remember that you drew them on. Cause when you start to sweat, 
You just can't wipe your face any kind of way. You can't do it. You came in with two, you left out with one. That's messing up people like God up, it's messing it up, you know. Just talking about ladies just a little bit, you know, they got this thing out called the body magic, you know. Made things the whole, you know, it's made the whole things in, right ladies? Hold things together, am I right? You know, I could tell in church who had one on, I could tell. Because before the body magic, you know, they'd be in church shouting like this, Woo, glory to God, hallelujah, yeah, hallelujah, glory to God. And when they got the body magic, they started shouting like this. I said, she got one on, she got one on. Somebody didn't laugh at that joke because they wearing one right now, but it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. But yeah, just a little bit about me. Um, I grew up in church pretty much all my life, and pretty much all my life I grew up in church. <laughs> yeah, and one of the things that I love about church, I love the choirs. Do I have any choir members in here? Any choir members? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting ready to talk about you. Yes, I am. <laughs> now listen, this is my opinion, my opinion. But I believe every choir just have some people, they, they just stand out. In every choir, there's just some choir members that just stand out. And I'm going to name these choir members. And if you happen to know one, just wave your hand. And if you happen to be one, just put your head down and hope nobody see you. Here we go. Choir member number one is rhythmly challenged. The choir is going one way while they are going the other. You are standing out. Choir member number two never gets the memo of what the choir is supposed to wear. (laughs) You know they say, choir, we want you to wear a white top and a black bottom. But you see somebody up there with a dress with flowers on it and sequins around it, you're standing out. You're standing out. Choir member number three always get happy in the middle of the song. (laughs) You know how they do it. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the cool. <gasps> you standing out. You standing out. This next choir member, she was supposed to be an opera singer, but she didn't know it. She didn't know it. So while the choir was singing like this, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. You got that choir member singing like this. Ooh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. You stand it out. Hey there, comedy fans. If you love clean, wholesome family comedy and would like to bring the Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live Tour to your city, call us now at 310-663-9228 or visit us at cleancomedyclinic.com. Gospel Comedy is where is that? Gospel Comedy Live Tour packages are now available featuring some of your favorite clean and gospel comedians like Willie Brown and Woody. All right, sit up here. Don't keep touching me now. They get the wrong impression. Comedian Joey Aiello. Five years. This is happily married. Five years of happiness, right? Yeah. It's the benefits of marriage, just like an ottoman for my arm. And the hilarious Nikita B. Man, your woman see what you don't see before you see it to see if you're going to look at what she just saw. You understand that? Yeah. If you're looking for comedy that the entire family can enjoy, you come to the right place. Book the Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live Tour now at your local church or theater. Call 310-663-9228 or visit us online at cleancomedyclinic.com, the world's first 24-hour clean comedy channel. Y'all got your tickets, didn't you? Some of y'all waited to the last minute, but you got them. I hope you don't wait that long to go to heaven. <laughs> God love you, so do I. Me and my husband, we have a blended family. We have five children and stuff. And uh, pray for me. Um, It's one in the middle that make me feel like prison might not be that bad. You understand me? 
Now, I'm a nurse by trade in my other life. That's what I do. I'm a nurse. I don't need nobody choking or nothing now because I ain't clocked in. But every time you talk to her, she act like she's short of breath. I said, did you clean your room? <sighs> I said, did you do your homework? <sighs> I said, I'll tell you what. I'm going to take you to the doctor on Monday. If the doctor does not tell me you have asthma, I'm going to snatch your throat out so I can see every word to try to come up out your mouth. And then she's so disrespectful, family. She used letters instead of words. I asked her a question. She said, IDK. Do y'all know what that means? I don't know. Uh-huh. She asked me, could she go somewhere? I said, absolutely not. She said, SMH. That means shaking my head. The other children over there interpreting like she's speaking in tongues. You understand me? <laughs> then she said some real jazz. I said, what did you say? She said, JK. They was like, mama, that means just kid. And I said, okay. I said, you know what? Little light-skinned little girl. The next time you talk to me using letters instead of words, when them people come in here and find you, you're going to be D-O-A. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah. Then the other kids look at me like, oh, that ain't no approved abbreviation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I told my husband, I said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to get all these jokes. We're going to take them to church and we're going to give them back to the Lord because that's what my parents did to me. They gave me back at least 72 times. You understand me? <laughs> now, I told y'all, my mom passed away. My mom was a minister. My dad is a pastor. Family, I didn't realize it was that many single women in church that after my mom passed away. Do you hear me? <laughs> oh, uh, it was one lady in particular. She should have had theme music when she talked. Um, you know what I'm saying? She come through and she's so dramatic. And when she walk, it should be like a band playing or something. See, we from the country, so we walk regular, one foot in front of the other. Not her, honey. When she walk, everything moves. She be getting it. You know what I'm saying? My boys say, Mama, that woman thicker than grits. <laughs> now, me and I'm going to tell y'all something. <laughs> my boys watch her all service. My husband do too, but he don't think I see him. But I'm going to tell y'all something. Man, your woman see what you don't see before you see it to see if you're going to look at what she just saw. You understand me? Yeah. Uh-huh. So she was coming down the aisle. We call her Miss Lucy, for lack of better words. So she was going down the aisle, wrote a little note, gave it to the usher. I said, run, get that to my husband for Miss Lucy get down there. Now, he looked at the notes, y'all. He was just grinning because he know my hand right, right? <laughs> I gave him a scripture because we was in church, you know. Act like you got some sense. He opened up the note, and all it said was, you better look towards the hills from which cometh your help. <laughs> now, he didn't know why I said this, but by this time, she was walking down the aisle. And at his peripheral, he seen her, right? So he looked, and immediately he looked straight up in the air. <laughs> Don't play. If you really grew up in church, you know one thing about church back in the day. You was there all day long. I'm telling you, I used to go to church so much, I used to get mad with my mama because I couldn't understand why I got to go. I know what they're going to do. They did it last Sunday. But church back then was just amazing. But my mama, listen, my mama was a good old church woman. She was over everything in church. I'm talking about she was over the Sunday school, the usher boy, the junior usher boy, the senior choir, the youth choir. My mama was over, so, but my mama was a cussing woman. She was the kind of mama that no matter where you act the fool, she act one with you. My mama was in the choir. She could see you in the back act a fool. I will trust. Come on, help me. In. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to trust thee in the Lord. How long? Until I die. <laughs> I'm looking at my mama like, huh? No. Let pastor know what you just said. My mama was a mess. And my mama, my mama loved the Lord, but my mama didn't play with us. We let children get away with anything today, right? Like my mama had, my mama had product control in our house. You wasn't gonna build no meth lab in my mama basement. My mama would have been like, is that my Ajax I smell? My mama didn't play. These mamas today, you know they punk mamas. 
they didn't took all the creativity out of the children. Remember back in the day, we didn't have all this stuff, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, and what is a we? We went outside and made up our own games, didn't we? When the last time you had to bring your car to a screeching halt because somebody was froze from freeze tag? <laughs> Kids ain't created no more. What about this one? One, two, three, four. <laughs> and you know what? We used to play hide, go seek. And if you was fast, you played hide, go get it. <laughs> but it taught you stuff. It taught you how to count. You was 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 45, 50. 50. You know you learned how to count, play, and I go see. We had creativity as kids. We had creativity. We used to listen to commercials. We didn't have no housewives. Ain't nobody married. We had commercials. Y'all remember commercials that used to teach you stuff? Remember this one? My Baloney has a first name. It's O. See, that's a good kid right there. My, you sing my baloney. What? What? Baptist cry right here. Oh. I love to eat it. <laughs> And if you ask me why, I say, cause Oscar Mayer has a way with B-O-L-O-G-N-A. You know you ain't know how to spell baloney. You didn't know how to spell baloney till they made that commercial, didn't it? Hey, what's up, family? It's your boy, Willie Brown, coming back to you again from Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live, and you can tell that I'm excited. That's right, I'm excited because we've been getting letters and calls about our television show. People are watching Gospel Comedy Live all over the world. So we want you to continue to support what we're doing, this ministry to bring clean and wholesome family comedy to you and your family. That's right, and you can do it by simply booking some of our comedians for your events. That's right, bring our comedians to your church to your leadership conference, to your gospel festival. You can book our tour, or you can purchase some of our merchandise. We got a brand new t-shirt, Gospel Comedy Live, all right? Comes in all different sizes. Make sure you get one of these, okay? Also, you can get our new DVD. Oh yeah, that's right, we have a DVD for every episode that we've shot. And this DVD will show our show in its entirety. That's right, you only are able to watch a certain amount on television because we're due, due to time restrictions. But on our DVD, you can watch the whole entire show, even portions that were cut out. So make sure you go to the site, get a t-shirt, get a DVD, order some other memorabilia, you know, support our ministry. Or you can just simply click on a donation button. Go to cleancomedyclinic.com and press donate, okay? That's right, we can't stay on the air unless you help us, or you can send us a letter or donation to P.O. Box 998, McDonough, Georgia, 30253. That's right, that's the Clean Comedy Clinic. P.O. Box 998, McDonough, Georgia, 30253. I love sisterhood, true sisterhood, where everybody don't look the same. You girls got your back. You know what I'm saying? Let me hear it for the sisters. Amen. That's right. That's probably why I go to a church that don't look all the same. It looks like what heaven's going to look like. Every shade of dirt is represented at my church. <laughs> just a big old sandbox. We just play them. So are. But I think if we're going to worship together in unity, which is important to me, we got to have some rules. Okay. We just can't be all in here freestyling, okay? <laughs> and that's why as a leader in my church, I take our white women aside and new members and I let them know, you don't praise break. Because <laughs> you don't know how. <laughs> you will have everybody from the medic team down here thinking you're having a seizure, baby. Because there ain't nothing more beautiful in church than seeing a black woman in a full-out praise break. It's gorgeous. Amen? Amen? 
worshiping the Lord with that kind of freedom? Are you kidding me? It's beautiful, and I love it. I mean, if I start to see it even assimilate, I, I can't even worship. I'm like, gorgeous it's gorgeous and, and you know it's kind of subtle at first it kind of catches people off guard like if you don't know what you're looking for it'll catch you off guard. hey you won't even know it happened it's so subtle hey, hey. But I'm trained, so I know what to look for. Because that is the call that gets sent out. And then there's going to be about five more women come. And we're going to get a circle. And we're going to surround the sister as she celebrates the Lord with a dance. And it will be white women. It will be the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Because we don't get that. As white women, we do not get that. You know what we get? We have one move, and it's this. You're allowed to pat this hip. <laughs> You're allowed to close your eyes and move this hip. <laughs> That's it. And if you're experienced, you can, if you're experienced, you've probably been to a Pentecostal church and you can actually lift your heel and do double time. <laughs> but you better know what you're doing because you heard everybody gonna go wrong. It's all wood. Let's go! Willie Brown and <laughs> <laughs> Shout to Uncle Rufus. Get your praise on, get your praise on. Everybody give a soul clap. Get your praise on, get your praise on. Gospel comedies, where is that? Get your praise on, get your praise on. Everybody give a soul clap. Let's go. Hey there, comedy fans. If you love clean, wholesome family comedy and would like to bring the Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live Tour to your city, call us now at 310-663-9228 or visit us at cleancomedyclinic.com. Gospel Comedy, where is that? Gospel Comedy Live Tour packages are now available featuring some of your favorite clean and gospel comedians like Willie Brown and Woody. All right, sit up here. Don't keep touching me now. They get the wrong impression. Comedian Joey Aiello. Five years. This is happily married. Five years of happiness, right? Yeah. It's the benefits of marriage, just like an ottoman for my arm. And the hilarious Nikita B. Man, your woman see what you don't see before you see it to see if you gonna look at what she just saw. You understand me? Yeah. If you're looking for comedy that the entire family can enjoy, you've come to the right place. Book the Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live Tour now at your local church or theater. Call 310-663-9228 or visit us online at cleancomedyclinic.com, the world's first 24-hour clean comedy channel. Y'all got your tickets, didn't you? Some of y'all waited to the last minute, but you got them. I hope you don't wait that long to go to heaven. <laughs> God love you, so do I. <laughs> 